Good morning. Early start, seven o'clock. I'm out on the bike all day. Where are we going? Catch us off the titles. early start. I'm going to have a day trip to the Isle of Wight. Put the tickets about four days ago and the ticket price is just under 25 quid each way for a motorcycle so you're looking at 50 quid for a round trip. So let's get down to Portsmouth and find that ferry. Last time I was down here heading on to the ferry it was our Picos trip. Spent a week in the Picos on Brittany Ferries, two night crossing, absolutely fantastic. I actually thought Portsmouth was going to be busier than this. But here we are, eight o'clock in the morning, and it's practically empty. So I pre planned a few routes for today, just little ones, doing the uh, east side, west side, and then I've got time. Let the uh, Kalamoto do its stuff with random routes inland. Morning. Lane number nine. There we go, nice and early. And here we are, the Isle of Wight. Just for a day trip. There's no uh, lashes required, and that on the ferry, just uh, freestanding. It's probably advisable to uh, put it on the side stand and uh, stick it in first gear. So we're gonna uh, go down the east side of the island this morning. It's only an hour or so's ride, two hours. Probably not even that. Just gonna head to Ride Pier first of all, and take it from there. There was a new road race coming to the Isle of Wight called the Diamond Races. Intrigued and looking at the uh, the circuit that they're uh, they're proposing, I thought I'd go and uh, take a look and maybe actually do the circuit around Chail and along Military Road. Ah, right. So where is this going to take me? I am not familiar with any of the roads on the Isle of Wight. It's been a few years since I was last here. I thought I'd just come here for myself for a little ride. Oh, camping park, not too far. Let's see what we can do in a day. So this road from the ferry, turn right the tra traffic lights, turn left and here we are. And already it's looking pretty good. And now we're going to turn left to here. Wow. Come on, you have to come to the Isle of Wight already, you know, within five, ten minutes. The roads are surprisingly smooth. Impressive. Yeah, going to see if we can have a little ride on the pier. I'm not sure if it's, uh, but there it is, that's right pier. I think there's only one pier in the world that actually has a train that runs on it. Pier, let's give it a go. Oh, 
to go. Had to be done really, doesn't it? Well, coming down the uh, east flank of the Isle of Wight. Into St Helens. Houseboats. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, Bembridge Airport. Back up a bit. Quite expecting that. And now we're into Sandown. With its sandy beaches. Just heading into uh, Shanklin, where the uh, train from the Ride Pierhead to Shanklin terminates. Oh, cute little thatched cottages. Oh man. Look at that. Very picturesque uh, run down when you're up quite high and you've got the sea as the backdrop. Just a glorious day, 22 degrees, 20 degrees up here. Just meandering down the east side, not a care in the world, just taking my time. And so far, so good. I would certainly uh, think about coming down to the Isle of Wight for, uh, for a night or two or a long weekend to somewhere where you can escape because some of these roads have been um, a little impressive if you thought the Isle of Wight was flat have another thing coming just coming around to the southeast of the island down towards Black Gang Chine. And on to Military Road, which I've heard is a stunning road to ride. These corner suits do creep up on you. Hello, hello, hello. There we are. So yeah, I think this could become quite popular with bikers. If you want to come for a long day trip. Exactly what I'm doing. Stay a little longer. got a glimpse of uh, the white cliffs further down. Wow. Oh yes. Black and shine. Wow!
we just come to Chow where the Diamond Races will be taking place from October 2021. Now we've got a stop coming up, so I'm going to take the opportunity to actually do the route. And let's see what I think. Have they pulled one out of the bag? Alright, I think what I'll do is I'm going to pull in here. See if I can find somewhere to have a quick, uh, quick coffee. Right, I've just stopped for a quick drink. I've pre-programmed a route, which is the Diamond Races route. Load up in my uh, uh, phone now, and we'll just take the route. It's only about 12 miles long. It'll take about 20 minutes to cover. Um, obviously, road racers are gonna do it in a far, far quicker time. But this is, the, this is the thing. It's quite a challenging route, apparently. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it a quick run round and see what I think. Let's go. Oh. 23.4 it's named the diamond races after the shape of the islands and it will be nice to see if it will eventually be something of the ilk of the Isle of Man TT it will be towards the end of the racing season or the road season at the end of October so the Isle of Wight should see a nice surge of income there's a few routes that were chosen and this is the one that they decided upon so for four or five days at the end of october there's going to be plenty of road racing apparently all the white lines are going to be removed um, cat size are going to be removed telephone poles adjusted i don't know there's a an awful lot of investment that is going into this uh, road race route coming through some quaint villages I'm not sure how the residents would uh, take it but I for one can imagine just sitting here on the bank embankment with a few invited guests and just watching the road race and it goes on by so from Chow it rides up to Chow Green imagine a few spectators on here oh, and I think we'll be turning a left of that down here all the drain covers will be treated so there's three or four just in five in, in just this short section so I'll try to think how many they're gonna have to treat all around, around the course wow it's coming in slow as they speed up through the hills there we go, open up to some nationals oh, yeah. I see them opening up down here oops, turn left down here I wonder what kind of speeds they'll be uh, attaining as they head uphill up here. Fox Farm. I can see a lot of pop-up uh, campsites happening along here. You know, once you're in, you're in for the weekend. But the atmosphere will probably be totally electric. Coming down to Shorewell. Wow, this is a cracking route actually.
Let's come right left and I've got a, a brand new jacket which uh, I'm currently reviewing for uh, Moto Gusto. If you want to see what Moto Gusto is all about, head over to motogusto.co.uk where you'll see my review about this brand new Weiss Mission jacket. Nimmerston. Tell you what, Isle of Wight are quite lucky to possess a road like this for uh, diamond races. Going down to Brystone. I do hope that uh, this event will be televised because I really do think that some of the, the shots will make it a capturing sport to watch. I think this will be quite amazing for the Isle of Wight to uh, host a, an event like this for one weekend a year. We could bring in a fair amount of money for the local economy. Turn left as we approach Military Rose. <laughs> oh, please, people, tur turn right. When did you guys turn right? Ah. Well, one out of two ain't bad. Quite a sharp turn that one. And then it's a five mile run back up to trail. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Nice wide road. This route that they picked up has got a bit of everything. Impressed. How straight is that? That's the straightest bit of road I've seen on the Isle of Wight. It's just seen a couple of uh, campsites along here as well. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, they're just going to go absolutely flat out. Oh, that bend could catch a few people off. That's a nice kink there, a really nice kink. <laughs> oh, that is going to make an epic road race. That's it, back to trial. And there we go, back to the beginning. This is the car park where I just stopped having a coffee. Excellent. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, he said 20 minutes. It's not wrong. If you're thinking of coming, do. I think that'll actually make for an epic uh, road race. I may just be back. Anyway, we're going to head down to Freshwater along Military Road. So I've just done it from west to east, and now I'm going to go from east to west. <laughs> this is that little flick. This is absolutely epic. So it's popular with motorcyclists. There's the White Cliffs, the Isle of Wight Company view. 
sea is so blue. Oh, look at this as we climb up. <laughs> oh, I'm even behind here. I've seen a, a few videos of people riding military roads but I didn't realise it was actually as good as this Who needs to go touring abroad? <laughs> Epic! Just stunning. That's it, we're coming down to Freshwater Bay. Oh, we're heading down, down towards the Needles and Allen Bay. There we go, the Needles. Is that and by the needles? And now we're going to make our way up towards Yarmouth. Oh, back in the fresh water bay. I'm going to turn left here. It's a little road heading up to the causeway. Coming into Yarmouth now. That didn't take too long for the needles. About 10 15 minutes. And there's the uh, Whitelink Ferries from Livington. Seeing that um, I only landed around about 20 to 10 this morning, it's now half past 12, so what, three hours? And I've pretty much done the eastern, southern, western side, and now we're heading over the north. It's a rather stunning island, it really is. Sort of a bit of lunch. Food serves till 2.30. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, sportsman's rest. Stopped there for a spot of lunch. Ordered, well I promised myself uh, fish and chips. They gave me fish and chips and it was probably one of the most Massive piece of fish I've ever seen. Unfortunately, I couldn't eat all of it, but it was amazing. Anyway, back on with these roads. Hey, battery status 50%. That'll do. Hope that fish doesn't come back up. Whoa! Certainly 
they're good campsites, caravan parks, if you want to settle in for a night or two. But I think the, the point to this video is that could you do some decent rows on the island in about six hours and have time for lunch? Yes, you can. Right, we're going to make our way to Cowes. Well, I was about to check the, uh, see how much it was going to cost to do the East Cowes chain ferry. And then I spotted this prices. And then I realised I had no money on me. But, not a problem. Go onto the website and you can pay by the debit card and then you download a QR code. Floating bridge service is suspended. <laughs> you can't write really. Spent bloody £1.70 on a ferry service I can't ride. <laughs> Absolute muppet. Pedestrians only. Oh well, they got £1.70 out of me I can't use. Right, let's go the long way around. Right, I've got scuppered on the uh, East Cows chain ferry. Pedestrians only, no vehicles. I paid £1.72. Right. So, what I've done is instead of like, scooting straight back to uh, Fishbourne, I've put into uh, Kalamoto uh, just a random route, just let it do its stuff. I had to do a couple of waypoint checks just to make sure that we can do it within the island. I'm just going to scoot within the island area around the central parts and see what that's got to offer. Stunning. That's the lane, not this one, the next one. Not there. Here. God's Hill, Mother Village. Parking up here, I believe. Yes. Very, very quaint. Stand going down to Roxall. Good sign to see a bike around the road. South side of the island is uh, certainly better. A chance to go for it. No, I'm not going to make a G turn. I'm going to go down to the seafront. The zigzag road. Ooh, that looks tempting. What's the zigzag road? Oh, I need to do a U-turn. No, I'm going back. I saw the zigzag road. Well, I've done this road this morning. Right, where was it? There it is. Zigzag road. How can you not try this? I've got Kalamoto banging on my ear now to sort of like do a U-turn. Well, I'm doing plenty of U-turns. Downhill. How blue is that sea? Zigzag road. Go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. No, I'm gonna turn right.
Wow. Wow. Where did I done this? Oh, they do come up the other way. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. Plenty of people enjoying the day out. Ventnor, that's where we are. So we spend an afternoon there. Oh, 25% gradient. Oh my goodness me. There we go. Look, that is mega steep. Wow. That's fun. <laughs> Turn left here, okay. Back onto zigzag roads. Enjoying this island so much that we're doing some roads twice. We're going round again. So from west side to east side, you could probably do that in a couple of hours. Look at that. So it gives you a bit of a, a relaxed a variety. You could do the east side and south side in one day over three, four hours, relax, just stop, go and see places, and then hit the west side and that the following day. There's plenty to do here on the island. But I'm not here for that, not today. It's just riding, that's all I wanna do. If you just wanna come for a, a day trip on the bike, Again, don't take anything with you, just your wallet. Access only road. Yes. I didn't think about coming down here in the car. Yeah, you can go from one end of the island to the other in a very short period of time. And then when you hit a road, I mean, look at that. This is what this gives you. Amazing. I mean, look at this. This is just a cracking road in the middle of the Isle of Wight. On a lovely, lovely day, 24 degrees. I've got my jacket open. It's a perfect ride on a perfect day in a perfect place. Is it worth a ferry crossing? Yes. Happy, happy nights. Wow, look. Again, another cracking road. Uh, open, stop there for lunch. Brooklyn, that's where I am. I would lay. Yeah, the southern half of the island offers more. Chillerton. This is cutting through the middle of the Isle of Wight, I would have thought. Just beautiful, beautiful roads. Billingham. I'm going 
going to go for Brightstone Shorewell. This is um, Diamond Races territory. Yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this is Diamond Races Road. Hopefully there won't be any tractors on it. Yes, Bucks Farm. Oh, I'm glad I've done this road again. That is a cracking road. Right down to Brystone and then on to Military Road again. I'm starting to feel that I'm coming a bit too far. To be back in time for the ferry in time. I've got plenty of time. Cooling off a bit underneath all these trees. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, lovely little bit of stretch of road there. Yeah, we're well, 3401 back to Newport. Turn right. Gonna make our way back to the ferry port. I aim to be back for about 4 o'clock. I'm actually getting there back a little bit sooner than that. Ooh, looks like a... Uh, it's in for one last calling. Oh, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, I'm just coming to the end of the ride now, I've got less than a mile to go. And there's still a few squigglies to be had. It says I'll be at the port in four minutes. Fishbowl. That's a good sign. Well, that was a stroke of luck. I've just literally turned up at the port and they put me straight on the ferry. I haven't even stopped. My feet have not touched the parking area. Straight in. That was a touch. Here we are. Back in Portsmouth. That it was quite a ride today. Just to prove to you, you can do the Isle of Wight in a day on a bike, or make it two, or make it three. Sit back on the mainland now. If you enjoyed that little uh, trip to the Isle of Wight with us, give the video a little like. That'd be lovely. More importantly, if you like what we're doing, do subscribe. It'll be great to have you along. Got a lot coming up in the pipeline. If you want to take a sneak peek of what we're doing, head over to motogusto.co.uk. Yes, interesting. So on that note, thanks so much indeed for watching and we'll catch you next time.